Hey, my name's James Wilkinson and welcome to my YouTube channel. Now, in this video, I want to talk about should you be moving your mortgage to an interest only mortgage? It's an option right now. And a lot of people had the perception it was easy to do. It wasn't. But now it is very easy to do. And I want to talk about why you might consider doing this during the mortgage crisis that we're currently going through. Now, if you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit the bell notification. I've got new content every single day on growing a property business and what you should do during this turbulent times. And 75,000 people are watching this every single month now. If you're already subscribed and whatever your situation is, make sure you smash that like button over there, guys. That really helps me with the YouTube algorithm. It gets more views on the content, so smash it right now. And thanks to everyone that's liked one of my previous videos. So let's talk about what is going on. Well, we've got crazy inflation. It's been going on for ages now, hasn't it? It seems like they never stop talking about it. And that is down to a few things. We've got Brexit which is one, and that's because we have import tariffs on products, so they've got more expensive. Now we're not in the EU free trade. So that's one reason. We printed a ton of money, right? So during the pandemic, we printed money for bounce back loans, for furlough scheme, all of these things, right? That wasn't great either. We've also had um, like, what else been going on? The interest rate rise, we've got the war in Ukraine. There's tons of reasons. And so because inflation is really high, that means the Bank of England's only real mechanism that they have to help with that is to raise the interest rate higher. And they've done that 13 times in a row, going from pretty much zero to five and a half percent, which is not great for people like us. And so what happens is you now have a way more expensive mortgage, I'm sure. Or if you're on a deal and you're going to come off, you're going to go on to a more expensive deal. So there's two types of mortgages. There's one called a repayment. And there's interest only. Okay, so repayment, let's just say you borrowed 100k and that's 25 years. Over time, you're paying down the debt, and by the 25th year, you will owe zero. Now, interest only, if you borrowed 100k again over 25 years, in 25 years, you're still going to owe that money. And so, as a residential mortgage, when you live in it, most people would be on a repayment mortgage. That's what they want. And in fact, that's what the bank wants, because eventually you're not going to be able to work, are you? You're going to retire, you're not going to work, and so they want to make sure that you don't owe them any money by then. On a buy-to-let mortgage, we might have interest only because it's not us paying the mortgage, it's our tenants, and so that works very well for us in that scenario. So at the moment, you might be on a repayment mortgage and you might be thinking, this is getting hard now, what can I do? Well, there were times that you were able to flip onto an interest only mortgage. Now, I'm not sure of the exact numbers, but it was crazy. Like to be able to do that, you had to be earning more than 100 grand a year and your mortgage had to be quite small. It didn't help people that were really in trouble and it was means tested. It was really difficult to get onto that scheme. And so but most banks just said, no, you can't do that. Whereas Jeremy Hunt has had a meeting with the banks due to the mortgage crisis. And what they've said right now, you can flip onto interest only for six months. Now, should you do that? In my opinion, it depends on your circumstances. So let's just say you've got a 50 grand mortgage, you earn 100 grand a year, and you've got loads of disposable income, then probably not. I wouldn't waste my time doing that if I was you. Um, I just don't think it's necessary uh, for you to do that. But if money's tight at the moment and you just feel that you could do with a little bit of savings in there, a little bit of a security blanket, what I would do is take it as an option. It doesn't hit your credit rating. It's very easy to do by just calling your current lender. They don't ask questions. You can just flip onto interest only for six months. And my gut tells me that that will get extended by at least another six months. It's not definite, but we had the bounce back loans that got extended. We had the furlough scheme that got extended. 
really depends on how bad the economy gets. So let's just say you were paying a thousand pounds a month and part of that was paying down the interest and part of it was paying off the debt, right? So you might now, for six months, be able to take that payment and halve it. It depends on how far through you were with your repayment mortgage, but that's potentially what can happen. So you could just say, right, this is the interest part. I'm just going to pay that for the next six months. Then you could save this money. This is only really going to be good for you if you're good with money, right? So a few things here. You could take this extra 500 quid here and save it in a pot so you build a rainy day fund. Right, that's a smart thing to do. Don't go and buy a holiday with it or clothes or something like that. You need to use this only if you're like really, really good with your money and you can really make sure that you're not going to waste this. So I would take this 500 quid and I'd put it in a pot. So in six months, you would then have £3,000 in savings. Now, let's just say that the scheme ends then and you think, you know what, I was all right through that period of time. There's nothing you stopping you paying that back off the balance anyway, right? So that's why I think that this is a smart thing to do. Well, what about if you have a credit card? Maybe you've got a credit card and on that credit card, you've got 30% interest. What would be smart as well is to rather than save it, pay down extra on your credit card reduce your expensive interest because that's going to make life a little bit more comfortable for you rather than paying the minimum payment or not paying it at all or struggling that's another option now one other thing that they have on this scheme as well is where you can extend the loan so let's just say you've got to here and you've got 10 years left on your mortgage and that makes it a grand a month I know it might not be a grand a month, just work with these figures, right? What you can now do is you can extend it with no questions asked again. This is all straightforward with the scheme with Jeremy Hunt. Speak to your lender on this. You can extend it back up to 25 years. And then if you did that, that would probably halve your payments and you'd still be paying repayment, right? So that's another option to reduce your payments. So extending the mortgage term could be a good thing. Now, over 25 years, yes, you're going to pay more interest. But what we're looking at doing is sorting out today, getting through this rocky patch now where interest rates are high, unemployment could be difficult in the future, but you could extend that loan. And then in two years, three years, if you think, you know what, I've got some pay rises, I've saved some money, the market's looking way better, then remortgage and shorten it back down to eight years. It gives you options. It gives you flexibility. But with both of these scenarios, I only want you to really consider this if you're someone that is going to use that money wisely. So if you're moving to interest only, you either save the money and keep it in a pot, ready for a rainy day, or you use it to pay other high interest debt that you've got, like credit cards, uh, like car loans and stuff like that. That's a smart way to use this. If you want to leverage up to 25 years, that's another smart thing to do as well. But maybe you consider in a few years, if the market recovers, interest rates are cheaper, then fix it back down to an eight-year mortgage or back to a 10-year mortgage, whatever works for you. So the answer to the question that you've come looking for is, should you move to interest only? Yes, you should. I think it's a smart thing to do but only if you use the money wisely. If you're going to go on holiday and you're going to go and spend it down the pub, it's the worst thing you could ever do. Uh, I hope that makes sense. Any questions, thoughts, opinions, do comment below. Do like the video, guys. And if you want to learn about property investing, now's the best time to ever be a property investor. House prices are on sale. You can learn strategies with high cash flow, and I can teach you all of this for one pound. So come and join the Property Accelerator. I'm going to pin a link below. Go and join that, see what it's all about, and we'll see you that on the inside.